If you need to save your Access 2010 database to an earlier version like 2002-2003, all you have to do is come up here, click on the File tab, go down to Save and Publish, and then come over here and there you go. 2002-2003 or even 2000. Go ahead and select it, click on Save As, and then it says you can't save this database in an earlier version because it uses features that require the current file format. These features include attachments, multi-value fields, offline data, macros, calculated columns. I mean, we may get to a point of no return because I'm looking at this going, okay, how much of this do I have to remove before I can convert it to an earlier version? Let's go ahead and click OK. I know I have attachments. If I come up here and click on the uh, File tab for the customers, double-click, open it up, and let's get rid of the attachment field here. If you watch the training video on attached fields, I think, well, it says that's one of the issues. Right-click, go to the uh, Design view. Let's go ahead and delete the attachment, say yes, click on view, save my work, and let's go ahead and close out. Let's go to file, down to save and publish, click on 2002, 2003 again, click on save as, and that was the culprit. But it had a laundry list there of things that it didn't like or was incompatible with earlier versions of Access. In any case, let's go ahead and save this to the desktop and keep it as integration. There it is, 2002, 2003, click save. There is no object in this control. Click OK. Your uh, Microsoft Access database or project contains a missing or broken reference to the file. Like I said, I got a lot going on here. Let's click OK. We're still having issues. The database or project contains a missing or broken reference file. Click OK. And wow. Let's click on the drop down arrow and say we want to see all objects because you can see up at the top that the database is now in an earlier version. But like I said, it shook up some things there, so I'm not quite sure exactly how much I'm going to have to deal with when it comes to converting to an earlier version. So if you run into those issues, if you can, I wouldn't convert to an earlier version unless your database is so squeaky clean and you don't have all these fancy attachment fields or other uh, codes in there, then not an issue. Close out and there it is on the desktop. You got the uh, old access uh, icon key here as opposed to, let me open up the exercises folder, you can see the letter A, the Access 2010 version. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.